Minnesota Fighting Vikings got a win over in London. Yes, the Saints didn't have Jameis or Kamara or Michael Thomas or Andres Pete or Marcus May, uh, and it was closer than it probably should have been, but a win is a win is a win. And as Kevin O'Connell has been doing the day after the games, he meets with the local media jackals, feeds them some red meat, uh, and this is what he had to say on Monday. So started off talking about rookie safety Lewis Seen. Of course, prayers up, good vibes going out to Seen. Uh, he is undergoing uh, surgery today to fix a compound fracture, which... Yeah, it's really uh, really unfortunate. Kevin O'Connell had some great words about Lewis Seen, really heartfelt, and you know uh, KOC was getting a little bit emotional, and you, you just got to feel bad for the kid, man. But uh, he'll heal up, he'll come back better than ever. It'll be fantastic. Uh, Kevin Seifert, ESPN, who was not Carl Gerbschmidt, uh, Vikings coach Kevin O'Connell in the conference call with reporters said that Seen suffered a compound fracture, which by definition is when the bone breaks through the skin. I, mm, yeah, yeah, again. Prayers up for scene. Come on. Uh, Sam Ekstrom, uh, KOC on Kirk Cousins so far. As far as where Kirk's at, it's still four weeks into a new offensive system for him. I think Kirk's going to continue to be more consistent. Uh, O'Connell is bullish on Cousins' improvement as the season goes. And we've seen that this offense can be extremely explosive. It can be extremely efficient. Uh, uh, Green Bay game, yes. Philly game, uh, not so much, especially in the first half. The second half, Kirk started pressing the envelope. Uh, the Lions, two good quarters, and then two not so good quarters, and then against the Saints in spurts, except for when they were settling for field goals in the red zone. So it's been a mixed bag so far, but we've seen the heights. It's not like the Bears. It's the Bears' offense, stop Bears, uh, where. You know, Cousins is out there throwing it 12 times a game, and it's just not good, right? We've seen what this offense can be, which gives you hope and also frustrates you a little bit but because, you know, I, I understand that it's a process and no amount of preseason would have changed any of this, but sort, sort of is what it is. But I am very bullish on what this offense is going to look like. I think Cousins will settle down. I think the running game will get a rhythm. The offensive line is getting there. Brian O'Neill will have a bounce back game, and Jefferson is still Jefferson, man. And Thielen is still Thielen. KJ is still KJ. Thomas and Pioneer Press, go. Vikings coach Kevin Connell said he was impressed with Dalvin Cook coming back after missing a game and having that type of workload uh, of 20 carries. And, yeah, after Dalvin got banged up against the Lions, you're thinking, "Eh, that's not looking good, man. But uh, he put the harness on, same thing he did last year uh, against the Steelers on Thursday Night Football. And even though uh, Dalvin was uh, less than 100 yards from scrimmage, uh, I think that just him being a warrior, just him being out there was really, really impressive. Plus, he was a trip and a shoelace tackle away from two 50-plus yard runs, so we'll be fine. Alec Lewis, the athletic. A Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell said Harrison Smith had a midsection injury late in the game yesterday on that pass down the seam. KOC said Smith made a full recovery, fortunately. Yeah, uh, he, he, he got hit in the crown jewels in Big Ben. Yeah, that's what happened to Harrison Smith, man. But uh, I, I love that Harrison is such a team-first guy. You would think that, hey, I just got caught a cleat in my groin. This is probably the worst pain that I've ever felt in my life. And he's so cognizant and so team first that he wanted to get off the field so that uh, the Vikings didn't have to burn an injury timeout. Uh, and then the, uh, the, the saints would have a clock stoppage. I mean, that that's the type of player he is. That's the type of team first guy. I mean, if you're kicking me in the nuts, man, I'm a, uh, I'm going to be incapacitated for a while. I, I I won't give an F about what, what is going on around me, man. And then a couple quick quotes from man of the match, Ryan Wright, man, with that fake punt. Thomas and go. A Vikings punter, Ryan Wright, following his successful fake punt. My phone has blown up. I had to put it on do not disturb. Uh, Ryan Wright said he was a pretty good high school quarterback, back in the day, but didn't get any college scholarship offers and thought punting was his best option. Said his junior season was better than his senior season. Plus, Kevin O'Connell uh, put some illumination on it, and he said on Ryan Reich's fake punt, said it has been on the table uh, for a while from special teams coordinator Matt Daniels, a critical decision there for me. Now, we, we had wondered if some team, some situations, the special teams coordinator and the punter has, has, a, has a standing green light. Right? Like if they get the certain look, uh, the fake punt will be on, or it can come from the head coach. It's like, hey, we're going to run this fake punt at, at this stage. So uh, it did seem like the latter, uh, but uh, the former also can be true. Like both things can be true. They may have that green light all the time, as well as Kevin O'Connell called that fake uh, punt, which took huevos, man. Love to see it. I absolutely adore it, man. Uh, but that's it. Uh, your thoughts on our thoughts. Uh, Kevin O'Connell's victory Monday presser with some Ryan Wright sprinkled in there, man. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.